What's the name of our show? <laughs> it's new. This is Rock and Eats. Welcome to the first show of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. We are gonna have a good time. We're gonna cook and make some things that aren't hard to make. They're not expensive. They're not gonna break the bank. When you're tired after a long day, you can pour yourself a glass of wine or beer or whatever you're, or if you don't drink, get a sweet tea or whatever you like and relax. This is your time to cook something and enjoy it. All right, so today I'm going to make my world famous green chili tomato chicken thighs. All right, these are good. Everybody loves them. I've made them for company. I've made them when I'm tired and I just wanna throw something in the pan. It's easy to do. That's the kind of recipes we make here. So this, for this chicken, you get it on sale. This is for two people, three bucks, okay? So why wouldn't you want to try to make this kind of food? Don't be afraid, you gotta do this. Now you can buy boneless or um, already skinned, but know what, I just buy it with the bone in, it gives it more flavor. And I really like to just take the skin off myself, just like this, no big deal. It's easy to do, people. Just go like this, pull it off. You still get a tiny bit, which I find gives it a little more flavor when you get a little bit of that skin. It only takes a second. You are paying them for the extra, you know, skinning of the chicken. And if you want to eat the chicken skin, which a lot of people like, and I do too, but when you want to make it a little bit more healthy, you just take off the skin. You don't need it. You're not going to miss it. Now I'm going to take my olive oil. Let's get a little, some good little olive oil. Just kind of eyeball a little bit. So, you know, two tablespoons, one to two, just enough to coat the pan because this is going to act like a fried chicken, but you're actually using olive oil, so it's good for you too. So you've done this, and we're gonna start heating this on the stove, so come over here. Okay, so here we are with our oiled pan, and we're gonna just put it on the stove, turn it on to medium heat, and let it heat it up for a minute while we season our chicken. Don't make a mess. Don't get out a bunch of pots and pans. You don't need it. Okay, one of the best secrets, my, one of my favorite, seeking, my favorite seasoning secrets to share with you is Tony Chichiris. This is good. Stuff. It adds a lot of seasoning without heat and it's just tasty, so you don't have to do too much. It's um, Creole seasoning and it's available everywhere. You just sprinkle some on your chicken, get it on there good. I See how I just moved the fat to the side, you know? No. I'll show you what I do with the fat after. You just season it up real good. See how there's still a little bit of fat. That's all right. It'll just give a little more flavor, a little bit's okay. It's better than having too much. Then just kind of rub it in. And then on the other side, you know, you might just want to do a little bit of salt. Not too much because what I'm going to be putting in with the tomatoes does have a little salt, so just a little sprinkle. You could even do without if you're trying to do without salt. And then do a little pepper. A little ground pepper or any pepper you have. Don't have to be fancy. And now we're ready to go take this over and put it in your pan because now this should be kind of nice. So just kind of um, turn your pan around a little bit, get that oil even, and put it in there. And I put the um, soft side down. So it'd be the skin side down if you're cooking it with skin. Let's put that in there. This is gonna be about seven, probably about eight minutes on each side. And then we'll uh, put the tomatoes on it and let it cook for a little longer and it'll be done. Okay, so meanwhile, while this is cooking, I'm gonna close it up with the lid. Let it get nice and hot in there. So while my hands are still dirty, take this fat. Don't put it in the trash because you're gonna have trash that you know, is going to smell really bad. Don't do that. Put it in a grocery bag, tie it up, and throw it in your freezer until you're ready 
for trash day and then you throw it out there and you have no problem. Trust me, this is a great tip. Last thing we're gonna do is open my Rotel or any kind of tomatoes and chilies mixture or even just diced tomatoes. And if I don't have that, I open a can of uh, tomato sauce. The more you cook, the more you do these things, you can use what you have and you can make it work. This is going to come over here and be waiting for our chicken to cook. So now our chicken's sizzling real nice in there. And I didn't set the timer yet, but I would estimate that was about two minutes. So I'll say set timer for five minutes. Okay, so now we've got five minutes. What do I do? This is what I do. I usually take my glass of wine while it's cooking. Take a break. Sit down in your favorite chair. Sit down, watch the news, check your phone. Do something like that. This minute's for you, okay? But then, when I know it's about time to turn the chicken, this is what I do next. Do these things. You'll be happy. You'll be the happy cook. Okay, now, while I'm waiting for my chicken to cook, I get things ready. I get my plates out. You get your salad ready. And then you don't have to do it later. And know what, tonight, we had a big Italian dinner last night. We love to eat, but then in between, we take it easy a little bit. So tonight we're having salad and the chicken thighs. It's a great meal, it's tasty. Me and my hubby will be happy. It will all be ready. So when you take that chicken hot off and it's ready to eat, you just put it on the plate, take it to the table, and you're ready to enjoy. So this chicken is cooking away. And it's, it sounds like you're making like fried chicken. So you feel like you're getting the flavors of having, you know, like a Kentucky fried chicken or something like that. And it's healthy for you, it's good for you. So these are good ways to make an easy meal. All right, so now we're back at our chicken and we are going to check it. And you hear it frying up good. I always like my tongs to turn it. You can use whatever you have, a fork. Turn it over and you see it getting nice golden brown on the top. And then I always turn it around a little bit to evenly distribute the oil. And now I'll turn it down a little less than medium, just about medium. Turn the chicken around so, because it's not always, you can't always count on how even it is and put the lid back on, okay? Now we'll set timer for seven minutes. Now we will let this cook for seven more minutes and then after that, we will add in our tomato chili combination and let it do its happy cooking in there because it, all the flavors will meld and then we'll let it cook till it's done and it's, that's it! All right, so, we are just about entering my favorite season, which is the fall season. And so we are going to be doing, everyone likes to cook in the fall. It's, it gets cool out, you feel like doing a little more. So we'll be having a lot of fun recipes, some fun holiday recipes, some Halloween, and all the good stuff that comes after that. So keep following us and subscribe and like, because you're not gonna miss one of these shows. You do not wanna miss it. Join the party, join the cult. Okay, so now the next timer went off. It's time they've been browned on both sides. Use your hot pad, because this is gonna be hot by now. Kind of stand back, because they, they pop a little bit. So I'd turn it one more time. Woo. Now they're nice and golden brown. And now you'll take your tomatoes, just pour them on there, stand back. Put the lid back on, set the timer for about 25 minutes and just let it simmer, relax a little bit, and then it's gonna be done. Okay, so while the timer's on and I'm cooking this, I'm gonna turn it over one more time. So you see it all stewing in there so nicely. Turn the chicken in. So all those flavors just go all over, stir it around a little bit. You know what I also like to do? Sometimes I just, you get a little hunch, just give it a little bit more black pepper. A little something. A little more. Okay, so one thing I was thinking, there's you can do different variations with this. Many times put in is some chopped onions. 
And another one of my favorite hacks is to buy some frozen chopped onions because I really am not a big fan of sitting there and chopping an onion, especially when you're in a hurry after a busy day. Buy some frozen chopped onions, have them on hand, and then you just put a little of those in, fourth a cup, and it's gonna give a lot of flavor. Or you could use onion powder, but yeah, keep these on hand. They are so worth it and they're very inexpensive and they don't go bad on you either when you don't use them, so buy some. Watch this. <laughs> okay, so a good way, if you're not sure and you don't feel comfortable not knowing if your chicken's quite ready or not, uh, you can always um, test the temperature with a little thermometer. Easy to buy, you can get these anywhere. So um, 165 is what you want, make sure. Don't hit the bone. Yeah, it's like going up to 180, so that's good, you're good. And don't worry about it, with thighs it's gonna be nice and moist, you're good. Take these off. All right, so now our chicken is done. Look at that. We've already done the work of getting our salads and sides ready. You could put this on some brown rice, some white rice, potatoes, or eat potatoes with it. Whatever you, whatever sounds good. Tonight I told you we're going easy, so here we are. And just plate, put two on each of these. And then, Get a spoon so you can get all of this goodness. Put some of this on top. Oh, it's so good. Let me tell you how good it is. And if you want, you like spicy, you could have added jalapenos to it. You can always put some hot sauce on the table for it. And look, we've got one to spare. So here you go. Mama Cats, world famous nonetheless tomato green chili chicken thighs. Thank you for watching the show and come back. We'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. We'll have some fun. Have a good night. Cheers.